Hi, I'm Matt Moskal, Market Torque Product Specialist with Atlas Copco. We're here today to discuss the MTF 6000 and Digital I.O. So what is Digital I.O.? Basically, Digital I.O. allows the MTF 6000 to communicate with other devices. These other devices could be things such as PLCs, robots, smart jigs or fixtures, lights, sensors, conveyors, and many other things. So how does Digital I.O. work? Basically, Digital I.O. sends an on or off signal or a high and low state. This is provided through 24 volts DC. There are up to 12 input signals that can be received on the MTF 6000. It also can send out a maximum of eight outputs. These are not expandable. How to wire these can be found in the configuration manual for the MTF 6000 or in the Tools Talk MT manual. So let's take an example of the MTF 6000 communicating with a PLC. In this situation, the PLC would take the lead. It could provide inputs to the MTF 6000. These inputs could tell the MTF 6000 to select a PSET, select a batch sequence, start the tightening, start loosening, stop what it's doing, disable the tool, initialize the tool, and there are many other options. On the flip side, the MTF 6000 can provide feedback to the PLC. These are through the outputs, and these could be things such as the tightening was okay, the tightening was not okay, or the controller is ready. There are also many other inputs and outputs that can be provided, and this can be found in the Tools Talk MT manual. When communicating with devices other than a PLC, the MTF 6000 can act as a soft PLC. Basically what this means is it can provide, through the use of batch sequencing, much more information to the operator, uh, receive inputs from other devices, install the fasteners, and send outputs to the devices. This replaces much of the functionality of a PLC, which can save a lot of time. It's much easier to program than a PLC and reduce the cost for the total installation. So let's look at the MTF 6000 and batch sequencing to see how digital I.O. plays a role. In this situation, we have a barcode scanner connected to the MTF 6000 with a tool, and we have a smart jig. So the MTF 6000 is going to give the operators information on the screen. The first thing it's going to ask them to do is to scan a plastic substrate. then scan the printed circuit board. Then it's going to ask us to close the lid. At this point, there are two things that happened. There is a sensor in the smart jig that detects that the door was closed, and upon the door closing, it locked the fixture. So now it is prompting me to install six fasteners Upon installing a fastener properly, we get a green light, and then the fixture will go back to the blue light to let us know that it's ready for the next fastener. If for some reason the screw doesn't install properly, we get a red light, the red light indicating to the operator that it was not installed properly, and then it asks them to remove the fastener and try it again. Once it's installed properly, then we get the green light. Upon completion, we get a green light. And if you noticed, you heard the click of the fixture unlocking. Once it's unlocked, then the operator's free to remove the part and then continue on with the next part. So this has been the introduction to Digital I.O. Please contact your Atlas Copco representative for more information. Thank you.